Hello, welcome to Trophy Collectibles. I'm Burgate Company Live from St. Paul, Minnesota. We are doing a two box break. 2021 Upper Deck Hockey Series 1 Random Teams number two. Buy two spots. Into this box break, you get entered into a giveaway break for a card that we're giving away. We're giving away, um, card's not with me by me right now, but I'll, it's it's on the site. Go check it out at triplebeefcollectibles.com. We also have number three that is also sold out. So we're going to be doing back-to-back -back breaks here. So everything is sold out right now. So we've got the MVP hockey is the last one up, but don't buy into the MVP hockey, folks, because wait. If we don't pull Alexis Lafleur in these next four boxes, I will put up another two-box break, and we'll go hunting for him again. So both breaks are sold out. We're going for this right here. We're going to go try to find uh, – we're giving away this card to all customers who buy two spots or more. We're down to basically 50 right there. We're going to go to 60 altogether. So we'll open up another two boxes if we have to. All right, let's go over to the sheets. There is our break right there. So number two, Jason S., Gary M., uh, with one spot, Murph76 with two, Brad C with uh, four, Gary M with four, Claude P with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Davis M then came in and got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then Gary M came in and got two more. That killed that break there. So this one is done. We'll go over to random.org. We'll get ourselves a dice roller. We'll get ourselves the true random number generator. We'll put that at nine like that. We'll clear out this list here from the list randomizer from the last one. And we'll head back over to here. We'll take this list here. This was from the last break also. All right, Jason S down to Gary M. Copy that, put it over to here. And then we're gonna go like this. Control C, Control V. Jets all the way up to the Ducks. Gary M. Eyebrow Mojo up to Jason S. Random.org right there. We're going to roll two dice. The dice roller, I do not accept snake eyes or threes. Here we go. And it's a six, a doubles. Three and three, six times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five. And the winner is ah, Gary M. All the way down to Davis M. There's all your winners. Chicken, chicken dinners. Everybody's a winner. Yeah, let's start up here. There we go. Let's try it backwards. All right, let's get over here. We'll put that right there. So that's how that is. Let's go back over here. I'll show you those three times. Three and three is six. Six times randomizing the teams. Good luck, everybody. There's 31 total teams. One, two, three, four, five. Carolina Hurricanes. And where do the Rangers end up? Boom! Somewhere in the middle. They're not in the front and they're not in the back. Toronto, though, is on the top and Columbus is on the bottom. And everybody else is in between. So it looks like Gary M, you got the Toronto Maple Leafs. Claude P with Carolina Hurricanes. Gary M with the Flyers. Claude with the Wild. Gary with the Flames. Jason with the Rangers. There you go, Jason. And we got Gary M with the Canadians, Claude P with the Avalanche, Davis M with the Bruins. Hey, I think that's your team. Uh, Gary with the Jets, Merv7676 with the Predators, Claude P with the Vancouver Canucks. Not a bad team to get to. Uh, Jason S with the Vegas Golden Knights. Not another bad team. Davis M with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Davis M with the Chicago Blackhawks. Did you notice there wasn't a lot of Chicago Blackhawks in the first two? Murph 7676, Washington, Claude P with the Sharks, Davis M with the Red Wings, Claude P with the Blues, Jason with the Senators, Brad with the Ducks, you got my Ducks, dude, you're going to get a hit, Gary with the Buffalo Sabres, Claude P with the Islanders, Brad with the Oilers, Jason S with the Devils, Gary M with the Coyotes, Brad C with the Panthers, mm, I won't say anything, but you know what, you never know. Los Angeles Kings, Brad C. Claude P with the Stars. Davis M with the Penguins. And the Columbus Blue Jackets, Davis M. So I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm going to sort this. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to bring it over here to my little sheet. I don't know if anybody wants to do a trade or anything like that. Merv76 has got the Capitals. I don't know if Brad's looking for the Caps, but... Control V, let's go over to there. Let's save that. All right, let's go back over here. The boxes are in front of you. I'm going to slide this box over here like that and count it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna roll the gen random generator nine one time. Six, box six, one, two, three, four, five. Box six is the top box right there. So we'll put that down in front of us. Next one is generating three. One, two, three, box three down here. So those are, those are our two boxes. I'm gonna move them around like that, shuffle them over there. So box three and box nine. Uh, you know, let me go see if he is. Let me go see if he is real quick. Yeah, Mer76, he's over in, uh, he's over in Breaker Side. Yeah, he is on. <clears throat> let me go back over here real quick. Brad has the Ducks, the Oilers, the Panthers, the Kings. Merv, you got the Predators and the Caps. Brad's wondering if you want to trade the uh, Caps. He hasn't really chatted in chat. He's just kind of sitting there. So he's there. He's hanging out. He's watching. He's waiting. So, like I said before, he's got the Ducks, the Oilers, the Panthers, and the Kings. Would you be willing to trade one of those two teams, or would you be willing to trade the Washington Capitals for one of those teams? That's how I should put it. Or would you like the Caps on your own? Caps actually had a good poll. They actually actually had some good polls last time. So you know, out of those last two boxes. But like I said, it's all random. Everything's all random. So you know, what? I'll let you guys think about it. You know, I'm going to open up the boxes. I'm going to get things going. I'll get it all rolling. So if he does show up, you know, I'll let you think about it. You guys can still trade. So there's the list for you. Okay. Because I'm going to get this list printed out for myself. And then I have it. And then we can get to breaking. And the card that we are giving away is this card right here. So, 2016 Matthew Barzell Future Watch. That is a card that will be given away. Uh, why aren't you printing? Hey, there it is. You gotta be smarter than the printer, Bergie. And then stand by, folks. Stand by because I am going to be doing another box break of stuff for another card, which I haven't announced yet, but it's a card that everybody's going to probably want. So hold on to your pajama pants, as I would call it, and because uh, it might get a little crazy. And who knows? After these 50 sell out, After these 60 sell out, I might do another one because this next one will be, it'll be fun. I should be on tomorrow night. So about tomorrow. I should be on tomorrow about the same time. So I'll try to keep you posted on Facebook is where I'm going to try to do it in the group page for you guys. So, and then I'm going to try to put up breaks in the group page there and say, you know, this is what I'm looking to break. You know, can we kind of do this today? Or if we sell it out, I'll get on and I'll break. Um, I just don't want to get on and kind of sit here. And I like to talk to you guys. I know that. And I know some of you like to sit here and listen to me bullshit about stuff. But, hey, you know. But, hey. All right. You ready? Let's go get her done. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> He swore on, he swore again. Mom, did he say BS? Yes, son, he did. Oh, I can't watch him no more, he swears. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. We're just gonna pull them up. Stack them up like this. I'm gonna do, I guess I'm doing them a little different. Yeah. I don't know if I like that style. Boy, these ones are all foobard in here. This one's, this pack might be broken on the top, so I'm gonna keep that one on the top. This might have a bunch of bent corners on it. 
hope to gosh, hope to goodness, by golly, there is no young gun in it. I'll take that back there like that. Stacks are even right there, as you can see. All right, here we go. Top loaders are there. Young guns are here. All right, so you can fast forward for 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's go get her done. Good luck, everybody. <gasps> oh, Blue Dazzler. Colorado Avalanche. Okay, so here we go with the Avalanche and the Rangers. Rangers was uh, Jason and Colorado was Claude. So we hopefully get two of these for you guys. Usually there is two, but we'll put it off to the side. Kind of stuck together there. Brad Richard. Blue Dazzlers. Boston right off the bat. Davis M. Base card. Base card. And a backwards card. That's because Bergie dropped it. Grab the right stack, buddy. Grab the right stack. Or should I say, grab the left stack, buddy. Grab the left stack. All right, here we go. Base card, base card, base card. UD portraits of Jake Evans, Montreal Canadiens. Base, base, base. So far, two packs, no young guns. That's maybe a good sign. Maybe it's a great sign. Because there's your first one. Ah, Nicholas Bowden. There you go. Chicago Blackhawks. Like I said before, there was no Chicago Blackhawks young guns in those little first two boxes that we opened tonight. But there he is tonight. There's our one hit for Chicago. And that's Davis M. Congratulations on that. A little... Chicago Blackhawks. Chewy's envious right now. Chewy 2009. He'll watch this break and go, yep. Damn it, Bergie. Why didn't you pull that for me in that 12 case break? Although I did pull him some nice Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> in the PYT. Nick Suzuki, UD Canvas. Montreal Canadiens again. Who's got Montreal this break? That would be Gary M. Gary! Yeah, Montreal. All right. Next young gun. It is Timothy Lejegrin, Lejegrin, and he is for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And that would be Gary. Boom. Uh oh, look out, Gary. Claude says he doesn't want the checklist. All right, got you, Claude. You don't want your base either, so. Sort of like Brad C. He doesn't like his base, so I know there's a couple of you guys who don't want your base, so. And if I know you don't want your base, I'm not going to ship you your base cards. So it says base ships, but if I know you don't want your base, you know, or you just let me know, but I got you down on the list as being, don't ship me base, man. Borquist. Adam Borquist, Chicago Blackhawks. And then there are some people that do like base. Uh, matter of fact, there's a customer of mine that is talks to the wife all the time. They come by the store. They buy product from us all the time. Uh, they buy in the group breaks, stuff like that. And uh, they've got to the point where they got so much base that they're like, hey, can you buy our base from us? <laughs> and you know what? We'll package it up for you. So it's really cool. They package it up and they put them together. Woo, look at there. Young Guns. Phil, Phil Borberg. Look at that. That's an Edmonton Oilers card. Glad to be no base. That's nice. So that's two young gun, you know, it's three young gun UD canvases in each box that we've opened up tonight. So that's not bad, man. I mean, really. Edmonton Oilers, this break, they'll got the nice little hit. So Brad C, there you go. A little young gun action. There you go, Brad. He's been so kind of just, I haven't had that mojo around here. We're getting the mojo back. A Boston Bruins, Patrice Bergeron. But yeah, so they've kind of put things together. And then what we're doing is we're putting these base cards together. And uh, the wife is actually taking the base that we get from you, that we did from those other breaks, and we're giving it away. So, Boston. So, at least she started that today. So, 
We are closed Christmas Day Friday, so. But we are open scum Saturday, so Jake Evans, Montreal Canadiens. I believe that's the second Jake Evans. Did we pull Jake Evans the last two boxes? Maybe or not. Montreal, oh, that's Gary M. Yeah. And then I do have some tins that are coming in, and I might put up a 20 box tin, tin break again. So. Although I thought about just opening it up for the store. Finding Alexis Laughlin there. <laughs> hey, there's our jersey card. Nice. Anthony Mantha, Detroit Red Wings. Davis M. There you go. We'll get that into a top loader. Like a 75 pointer would work or 100 pointer works on that one. A dominant, predominant Ben Bishop. Dallas. Dallas Stars with Claude P. I'll just send all your base to Brad because I know Brad doesn't want base too. That's <laughs> like, no, don't do it. Elvis Merzikland's rookie perspective. Ah, oh, Brad. I think when I do an all base break next time, what I'll do is I'll sort the base, sort the base out, and give everybody different base, and you'll all be freaked out when you get your cards. Columbus Blue Jackets, Elvis Merzikelins, Davis M. UD Portraits, Ryan Getzloff, the bald head. He's got that shiny head. Sorry, sorry. I'm in a, I'm in a habit. It's my old habit coming back. Let's put everything in the top loader right away. Let's put everything in the penny sleeve right away. No, don't do it. Do it after. Open the cards. Open the packs. Ooh, acetate, young guns, Jake Evans, Montreal Canadiens, Gary M. Ba-ding. There you go, man. A little acetate action. Oh, Gary's mojo's firing back up again. He's like, oh, I'm so glad Bergie's back, I bet. <laughs> I pull fire for Gary. <laughs> Y'all know that, too. Gary didn't do well last break, but he bought two spots only or four spots this time. Like about last time, you know. A couple spots is all it takes, as you all know, you know. And my breaks might be a little bit more expensive. Uh, but, you know, hey, man, we're just, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to make a living and doing what we can do. So, NHL Worldwide, Henrik Lundqvist, New York Rangers. So Lundqvist, base, base, base. I got that pack that just jumped away from me there. Jason S. Two, three. Philadelphia Flyers, Claude Giroux, predominant. Flyers. Here I am. Mike Zajimadad, New York Rangers, Jason S. UD Portrait. I missed on that. You'll have to elaborate. Brad. The king of hockey, or who's the king? Elvis Presley? Josh Norris, Young Gun. 
Now, did we pull a UD exclusive already? We did, because Josh Norris has a UD, or, uh, UD canvas also. But we already pulled our UD canvas, so we won't pull one of him. We pulled Philip. Philip. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Jason, we do. I do buy, I, I will buy your base common if you if you buy online for me and stuff like that, you know. Um, basically, for base commons, I'm giving a penny a card. That's how it goes. So half a cent, half a penny to a penny per card. So even if you go online, you'll be like, yeah, but Burger, my base cards are 25 cents. No, dude, to get rid of it. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm packaging them up. And the wife and the wife and a friend of hers are putting them together. Ras Rasmus Dalin. They're putting them together in little packages of team packages, and you know, like 25, 30 cards per pack. You know, something like that. So, just to kind of to get them out and move them along. So, because the hospitals no longer take them, nobody wants to take them anymore. You know, so due to COVID, they don't know where they've been and they don't know if they're brand new and they don't know if I had COVID and stuff like that. And ironically. Ironically, I have not had COVID yet, so, but I still believe. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Lundquist isn't playing this year due to heart issues. And you know what? A lot of people are going to have heart issues with COVID. So, Sidney Crosby, I went to the uh, checklist. I went to the emergency the other day for heart issues. So, and then Boston in the Capitals. The Bruins and the Caps. That's Merv 7676. And Boston is Davis M. So. Igor. There you go. Igor. Korsovsky. Korsovsky. Toronto Maple Leafs. Very nice. Toronto Maple Leafs. Gary M. <laughs> Gary, this box has been you, baby. This box has been all you, man. Brother. It's all been you. That's Rochelle from DNR. And we have ourselves a debut dates fabric card for the San Jose Sharks of Mario Ferraro. So Rochelle is from DNR, by the way. That's Dave and Rochelle. Wow, there you go, man. San Jose Sharks. It's not my duck, but it's close to being a fish. Ha, 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 ha. God, P. point so that's two relic cards and it's gold it's no it's not numbered I didn't see a number on it let me just make sure again and no uh, I don't see any number on there because he's got zero goals zero assists zero he's minus one oh he was on the line that got scored on sucker Igor Zemolova. Well, so far, we have not pulled them, but we still got a whole other box. So that is our basically our seventh young gun. Is that our seventh or six? I lost count after five. Ha, 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 ha. Philadelphia Flyers, Igor Zemolov. Flyers, if I'm dying. One pack to go. Philadelphia, Gary M again. Gary, you got all the lucky teams in this box, huh? This break so far. Well, this box. Predominant, David Pasternak. So like I said before, the other's two box break for number three has sold out. That will go after that one. And then if 
the brake doesn't sell out, well, we'll have to uh, figure out something. So before you go start buying the packs, um, I don't know. We'll see. I was going to do packs. So MVP packs. So. But who knows? Maybe I'll have to put up another two box break because we got to go find a Lexus Lafaniere in that case. So, like I said before, that's a master case. I know I did not pull it. Mackenzie Blackwood, New Jersey Devils. The Devils, Jason. S. See, box two we're into right now, so we're over in the second stack back there. I'm just going to cut the stack down like that. UD Portrait. Vancouver Canucks of Quinn Hughes. A blue dazzler of Anaheim Ducks Richard Rackle. I actually got a autograph of Richard Rackle. I got his RPA out of cup, I believe. Let me think if I'm thinking the right guy. Oh, yeah. It does not going to say his career on the back. When I find a Richard Rackle card, I'll look at it. Hi, Rochelle. There we go. First young gun out of the first second box. Thomas Harley, Dallas Stars. English version. Dallas is Claude P. Even baseball base. So, and I know that, uh, Jason, I, I believe you said you just got back into hockey. So, Mikhail. And if it's bigger base cards, like out of, you know, the cup or different things like that, or even higher stuff like SP Authentic, you know. So, it's still about the same amount that we'll pay. So, Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, funny thing about Henrik Lundqvist now, did he have uh, COVID? Did he get COVID? Because everybody who's gotten COVID has been having heart issues. Matter of fact, I believe COVID was going around last year when my stepdaughter was in the hospital. So, um, and my brother who passed away, he had he had issues already with his lungs, but the moment he got it, it just it killed him. He was done. So, UD Canvas, Andre Barboski, Colorado, Burakowski, Bur Burakowski, Burakowski, Andrea, Andre. One, two, three. Another UD cam, uh, UD portrait, UD canvas, UD portrait. Blah, 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 blah. Ryan O'Reilly. I've got some water and have a skittle when I'm done with this book. Was it 5:30? Yeah, 5:30 p.m. I'm gonna take like a five-minute break between these two breaks, so. Come on, where are you at, brother? Give it to us. Darcy Kemper. UD Portrait. Arizona Coyotes. How do you like them saved by the bell cards? <laughs> saved by the bell. Oh, hoo, 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 I was thinking, come on, where are you going to be? Aha, but it's Martin. It's Martin. So that's the right winger. Kiwat. Colorado Avalanche. Claude P. Hey, 
Eagle Clock. Couple more packs into it. We're getting her done. Boom! There he is. Talk about his odds. He said, oh boy, my odds are looking up to get on Alexis Lafreniere. And there it is. There is our Alexis Lafreniere for the New York Rangers. Jason S., congratulations. You got yourself Alexis. Ironically, I pulled the same guy out of a tin, and I know somebody that pulled the same guy out of a blaster box. <laughs> well, there's one gone. There you go, man. Congrats. I'm telling you folks, hockey tins for $29.95 a pop. You get only two young guns, but if you think about it, if you buy three tins for $30, it's $30, it's $90 a tin. You're going to get six young guns out of each tin is how they figure it. And out of those six young guns, you've got a really good chance of pulling an Alexis Lafreniere. I opened up two tins out of a master case and pulled one Alexis already. So Dominic Kublik, rookie perspective, and then a Pasternak and Ovechkin checklist card. We'll put that over there. So... You know, I don't know. You look at the odds, and you know, for for retail product, and then I can't tell you what the prices go for. What you can go look at other places, you know, for what a box of this goes for, and what a box if you buy three tins. Yeah, you can get a lot of base. You don't get a lot of the hobby stuff, and that's what I've been trying to tell customers in our store. It's like, you know what, your odds to get an Alexis Lafreniere out of a, a tin is really good. So they're only popping one or two out of a master case out of twelve boxes. So. Artinium Panarin Dazzlers, New York Rangers. That's Jason S. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, the odds of pull, and, and, and here's the bad thing, though. Yeah, well, here's the bad thing. How many of them did they print? And if there's that many pulling out of those cards, out of those tens and megas and stuff like that, how many did they put print of them? So it's a nice push, but could it could it be another Quinn uh, Quinn Hughes and uh, Quinn Hughes Jack Hughes kind of thing last year or, or Jack Hughes from last year and the year before? You know, I mean Jack Hughes didn't do nothing. Quinn Hughes blew up. You know, Philip Borberg. And there's always one one player that seems to accelerate over everybody else and right now i'm telling you it's gonna be vancouver so yeah so you think about it if they put them all if they place them all over the place which is good you know if you find them in megas and you find them all over the place that's kind of good so And how many people are collecting cards though? But actually, card business is kind of crazy high. It's kind of crazy nuts. So, Matt Zuccarello for the Minnesota Wild, hometown boy. Actually, he used to be a New York Ranger, if I remember right. Zuccarello, Minnesota. Yeah, 100,000. Now, were they able to actually print the 100,000 cards? Ooh, look at that big gold one there. Did you see that gold one? Did you see that predominance gold? Check this out. Boom, Minnesota Wild, congratulations. You have yourself a predominant Eric Stahl gold. Not numbered though, I wish they would have numbered these. That would have been cool. Minnesota Wild, Claude P. There you go, Claude. Right, right, the high gloss, exactly. And that's where you got the hobby boxes, you know, right. Yep, you're exactly right. The exclusives, UD exclusives and the high gloss, so. 
Well, that's one electric Laplanaire gone out of that master case. There's usually two, so we'll have to see that number box number three or break number three is in the store and sold out already. So, Pierre Oliver Joseph, Pittsburgh Penguins young gun. Davis M. There you go, Davis M. <laughs> nice note. <laughs> you're probably right. You're absolutely right, dude. You're absolutely right. And getting a decent, as he says, getting then getting a decent high gloss. So. Uni Canvas, Connor Garland, uh, Phoenix, Coyotes, or Arizona Coyotes. I still look at them and think Phoenix, man. The Oats. Here he am. <laughs> right on, Snow Dog. Right on, man. Oh, shit. That's funny. Seems to be that way, man. It seems to be that way. So I think they only printed 10,000 of them. Uh, NHL worldwide of each player. <laughs> and then shipped them into all the different cases of hobby. NHL, Leon Dreisaitl, Edmonton Oilers. Down to a couple few packs left. And like I said, we did pull a Lexus. Number two. But we got number three that's already sold out. And we're hoping we can pull you guys another one tonight. Debut, Dominic Kubalik, Chicago Blackhawks. That's going in to Jason S. I'd have to have you put that a different way. Take out the one word, so... I was thinking that's an exclusive. That's a short print. Ryan O'Reilly. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I don't. My chat. I, certain words I don't don't allow, and that was one of the words that I don't allow. So. The W one. Otherwise, you can say everything else, but just kind of figure out another adjective or another verb or noun or however you want to describe it. So, Ryan O'Reilly, St. Louis Blues. Put that one in that one there. That was our Blues hit, man. Claude P. Three, four boxes in, and finally got a, finally got one. So, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. That's why it won't show. So, I know, dude, I, I say, I, and I, I'm a potty mouth too, and, you know, I I swear, and I say, you know, I say the shit word. Whoops, I said it again. <laughs> you know. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks, Patrick Kane, Jason S. But there, there's just a couple words that I got on my list for, for chat that I don't use, so... Not a lot. There's not a lot, so, but... But if you say like bullshit, something like that, that's cool. That's a word that works for me, you know, should work in chat. And if it doesn't work in chat, I'll make it work in chat, you know, I'll make it show. So, Pavel Francoza, Francozzi, Cozy to Cozy, Colorado, where are you at, Colorado? Cloud P again, another young gun. So, we got two packs left to go. I think that should be our last young gun. We'll probably get a UD portrait, unless I got my four UD portraits already. We got the nice short print of O'Reilly. So, that was pretty cool. Dude, Fergie butchers the names, man. I have such issues with butchering Frank Coles. <laughs> Pavel? <laughs> I can do Pavel. But the Frank Francos Francos. <laughs> what the heck? Another young gun. It's Frank. So it's Frank Francos. 
Frank Coos. See, you know, I, I'm just looking at the way, I just look at the way it's printed out, man. And until I hear somebody say it in real life, and there's no hockey going on, I haven't listened to no podcasts in a long time, like three weeks since I listened to a hockey podcast, I'm kind of sad. So, Joel Kvaratin. I see. Uh, I butcher him. I butcher him. I try my damnedest. And I've opened up enough packs, enough names, and you think I get it. But, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have an Alexa. <laughs> Somebody needs to go buy me an Alexa. <laughs> hey, Alexa. <laughs> Nico Escher. Although Google, although Google would probably work, you know. You know, I got I got a Google, what is it, the Google Google Cold Chromecast or the Google Pod or whatever it is. So Nico Isher was the last card out of that. Sorry folks, I de I derailed the, the break there. Got a little off track here. I'm reading chat. Should probably read chat while I'm doing breaks. So Alright, here we go. We're gonna run through the young guns real quick. I had one. So Joel. Kivaranta, Pavel Francuz, Pierre Oliver Joseph, that's three, Philip Borberg, that's four, Martin Cot or Kiat, I don't know, Cot, there's five, and then Michael Burden for the Winnipeg Jets, so six, Thomas Harley for Dallas, seven, Igor Zemla, Zemla eight, Igor Korshakov, Korsh Korshakov, nine. Josh Norris, ten. Jake Evans, acetate, eleven. Well, he's not really eleven. This would be eleven. Jake Evans, normal. A Philip Bordberg, UD Canvas, Young Guns. A Timothy Lindgren and a Nicholas Boudot are the young guns one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen young guns plus two specials on the back end so 14 all together congratulations oh yeah did i forget to mention that boom there's actually 15. there you go thanks for watching i'm bergie with trilby clegville and bergie box Breaks. peace out